What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to get great photos of yourself and your friends skateboarding. And you don't have to have the most expensive camera. You can do this with just your phone. So this is a setup that I use a lot at the skate park. It's an iPhone 11 with a Moment Fisheye. This is the older one, not the newer, more expensive one. I like to have a tripod that you can move from the landscape orientation over to the portrait orientation. Because when you're taking photos of skateboarding, you want to get as close as possible and you want to get the whole skateboarder in the frame. You don't want to cut their head off or cut their feet or the board off. If you cut any part of the body off, it's going to look kind of awkward. So with the fisheye lens, everything in the center of the picture is going to look bigger and more impressive, more distorted. With the rectilinear lens, one of those lenses where everything is straight, it's going to make the things in the corners look bigger because it's stretching that out. So one thing with a fisheye lens, if somebody's doing a trick on a box, you want to stand right where they're going to land, but you want to get as close as you can without getting in the way. So if you don't have a fisheye lens, you have to stand kind of far away to get the whole person in frame. But when you have a fisheye lens, it's really wide, so you can get as close as you want. And sometimes the closer you get, the better the shot, because it'll really distort things and it'll make it look bigger. So with the fisheye, you want to get at a low angle and point up. That's to make them look like they're up higher. So one thing you might have noticed in a lot of skate pictures and magazines is you see a lot of vertical fisheye shots. And that's because when you're taking a photo of somebody, you don't want to cut their head off and you don't want to cut their feet or the board out of the frame. So with a vertical shot, like a portrait style fisheye shot, you can get a lot in frame and still get really close and make the trick look really big and impressive. So I would try taking some like landscape shots, but also some portrait shots. It just depends on the photo and what they're skating, because sometimes you want to get more of the actual background and more of the actual scenery in the shot, and sometimes you want to just get the trick in the shot. Another thing that can be hard when you're taking pictures of other people is just getting the shot at the right time. So one thing you could do is just set up a slow motion video on your phone and film it. So you could also set your phone or your camera up to take a burst so it just continuously takes photos for a certain amount of time. That could be really helpful if you're using a camera and a flash, sometimes the flash isn't fast enough to catch up with a really fast burst or it doesn't have enough power to fire that many times that fast. So if I was going to use a crop sensor camera, I would get a 7 Artisan 7.5 millimeter fisheye lens. I've used that with the M50, I've used it with Fuji cameras and with Sony cameras and for most crop sensor cameras that's probably the best cheap fisheye that I've used. I've used Opteca 6.5 millimeter, I've used Pergear fisheyes, I've used a few other brands but I really like the 7 Artisans. For my full frame Sony camera I've got a TT Artisans 11 millimeter lens and that works really good for the full frame. I do this a lot. I don't really ask other people to take photos of me if I want a photo. I will set my camera or my phone up on a tripod and I'll find the right position where it, it can get me completely in frame and the rail or whatever. You don't want to cut off the bottom of the rail. With this shot, I really want to get all the way down here, the beginning of the ramp, all the way up to the trees above me just to get a nice framing for the shot. I don't want to cut the rail halfway uh, because it's going to make it look smaller. I want to show the whole thing just to show how big it is. So I'll set up the fisheye, you know, somewhere in here, somewhere well, I'm going to go, if I know I'm going to go straight, I'll set it somewhere over here where I know I'm not going to hit it. Even right here, sometimes I'm scared I'm going to launch my board over here and accidentally hit the phone or the camera. So I'd much rather put my phone here than a more expensive camera. What I used to do is actually set up a timer and like burst shooting and take photos but that is really hard to get the timing right. So what I'll do is either put it in slow motion or just in 4K and just film a video and then I'll just screenshot that video. So yeah it's the same thing as when you're taking pictures of other people. Be kind of low portrait orientation not portrait mode. If it's kind of dark out, then the shutter speed's going to be really slow on your phone and it's not going to work as well. So you want to do this on a really bright sunny day so your shutter speed's already really fast and everything's really crisp. 
The phone's got a small sensor, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to capture motion in low light. I went to Home Skate Shop today and they had those really cool crooked boards on the wall, the Mark Gonzalez ones. I don't know if you've seen that video, but they're these really wide boards with big wheel wells. They're really cool. I want one of those, but they're like $600 on eBay. Yeah, this light is really harsh. The sun is like directly hitting me in the eyes. We'll see, my face is probably overexposed throughout this entire video. So I've filmed this video a few different times and I haven't uploaded it just because it's really hard to get good audio. Anywhere I go skate, there's like people mowing the grass or weed eating or cars going by. Some skate parks are right next to a highway. So it's really hard to get good audio. So if you enjoy this kind of content, I've got a lot more videos like this coming soon. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment, hit the bell, all that stuff. And thanks for watching.